Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I'm here with the new event, Beyond the Horizon. I'm going to give you my quick take on this event. So, from my perspective, this event is good for getting a free car, okay? Particularly as a newer player, uh, I'm on my veteran noob account. Getting a free Purple Star car is always exciting. It's a cool looking new Lamborghini, um, and Lamborghini Fusions are relatively easy to get. Now, once we get past that point though, this event, although it does reward RP, which is very tempting for players to build cars to chase, this event is a resource dump for the most part. It does give you some resources back, but not really enough to justify building a T5 car. And certainly, the RP looks nice and it would be cool to get, but what I can tell you is you're going to have to build the car pretty much up to stage five fully fusioned just to get to here and then they're going to put roadblocks from there to get to this guy here you're going to need more than one stage six with fully fusion so you're going to get stuck pretty soon in this now for a veteran player i guess if you have if you're sitting on tons of lamborghini fusions and you don't mind rolling in some of them for this car go ahead this car however based on my testing so far is really terrible it does not gain much evo it jumps in performance points particularly if you throw in the stage six that you win at race 15. so it's not a very good card for anything outside of this event it's among lamborghinis it's probably one of the least interesting ones i've gotten as far as statistics as you build the car i see people pulling it into live already more power to you I don't expect to see a lot of these guys hanging out in live lobbies after a week or so. So for newer players, this is basically a trap uh, to burn up your Lambo fusions and resources to get a few RP. I'd rather just go grind RP in live where I can gain cash rather than losing cash to build a car that I will never use again down the line. So that is my feeling about this. As far as people with Lamborghini fusions kind of overflowing be my guess build it expect to be stuck at race 23 to 26 range um, Unless you get lucky and start pulling some more stage sixes This car is certainly not worth spending money on just to finish an event as tempting as the 10 gold keys may be You're not gonna really get much benefit uh, out of that by building this uh, so that is basically my feelings about this and my take on it, which is if you're a newer player, and this is true of any event as a newer player, squeeze out as far as you can. If you feel like you got the money, you want to burn a little bit to get to this race, I have this car still stock for a reason because I don't want to burn up cash infusions on it. Unless I'm very close to winning this race, I'm not really all that keen on getting that 25,000 RP by burning up a lot of my resources now if i really need rp of course it is worth taking a shot at it um let's see how close oh we may even squeeze out a win on this one all right all right great i got i got through a red race um at 15.96 against a 15.98 so i was able to squeeze out that 25,000 rp that's great now that's about as far as I'm going to go with this event uh, with a new account versus my older account that has more fusions and parts. I'm already up to like race 23. Uh, but ultimately, this event really isn't worth finishing and isn't really worth all your resources for this car. Um, I have this, well, Natural Motion has a history of giving you free cars that kind of suck. Although not all of them are that way. We have had some good T3s. We've had the Utopia, which is a great car. Um, but generally speaking, more are less useful than there are useful cars uh, over the years. So do what you wish, but just be forewarned that you can build this car and uh, find it to be pretty much uh, not very helpful other than for this event. If you have any questions or your own feelings about it, feel free to share uh, in the comments. And if you like the video, leave a like. If you like my channel and like this kind of videos, uh, subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be notified when I put up new videos. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.